Let me also say with utmost conviction that you will be leading some of the best trained, motivated and battle-hardened soldiers in the world. Bear in mind that your nation reposes great trust in you and it must be maintained by achieving high standards of professional excellence. By the grace of Allah Almighty, Pakistan Armed Forces today are highly motivated, battle-hardened and fully aware of the multitude of threats to our beloved country. I have no doubt that Pakistan Armed Forces are fully capable of deterring and defeating aggression across the complete spectrum of threat. The recent standoff on our Eastern Front holds testimony to this very fact. While our operational preparedness and befitting response defeated the nefarious designs of the enemy, it has also amplified our sincere intentions for peace and relationship based on sovereign equality and mutual respect. Pakistan seeks a relationship based on sovereign equality and mutual respect with its neighbors. Pakistan has been and will always remain promoter of peace as part of its national policy. Let there be no doubt that any misadventure or even the slightest breach of our national security will get a befitting response and no sacrifice will be considered too great in accomplishing the sacred cause. Pakistan will continue to stand by our Kashmiri brethren in their legitimate struggle for the right of self-determination while we continue to put in our residue moral, political and diplomatic efforts to find a solution to this endearing conflict, we will leave no stone unturned in exposing the perpetrators and suppressors of innocent Kashmiris. The world must act against the blatant violations of human, fundamental human rights in Indian occupied Kashmir. I urge the world powers to take stock of the plight of Kashmiri people in the light of the resolutions of the United Nations Security Council. The challenges and complexities faced by Pakistan are immense and every grow, ever growing in nature. However, the success we have achieved as a nation against the scourge of terrorism has no parallel in the contemporary world. The army has played a pivotal and a unique role in this entire effort and it is upon you now to further the gains through your unwavering commitment and sound character. Sacrifices rendered by our brave soldiers and officers for peace in the past are matchless. May Allah be your guide and protector. Pakistan Army, Zindabad. Pakistan, Pahindabad. <laughs> Bismillahirrahman Rahim. I am Academy Senior Under Officer Heather from 139th Long Course. Today I have been awarded with the Sword of Honor for being the overall best cadet of my course. Besides my hard work, this honor has been bestowed upon me due to the prayers of my parents and the exemplary guidance of my instructors. Inshallah, I will work persistently with the same zeal and commitment in the future and live up to the trust of my nation and expectations of Pakistan Army. I pray to the Almighty Allah to grant me the perseverance and resolve to maintain the high standards that I have achieved. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I am Battalion Senior Under Officer Umar from 139 Long Course. I have been honored with the President's Gold Medal today for being the second best cadet of the course. I am grateful to Almighty Allah for His blessings. I owe this achievement to the prayers of my parents and able guidance of my instructors, their faith and trust in my abilities. Inshallah, I will keep working hard with same dedication and determination to serve my country and Pakistan Army in the best possible manner. I am course under Officer Aisha Shakil from Lady Cadet Course 14 and I have been awarded with Commandant's cane today for being overall best Lady Cadet of my course. Besides my hard work, this honor has been bestowed upon me due to profound prayers of my parents and able guidance of my family. Inshallah, I will work persistently with the same zeal and commitment in future 
and live up to the expectations of my nation and the army.